dear swans, myself Gangadhar Swanke and I welcome you all to the MC James virtual classroom. My dear swans, today in 9th standards history, we are continuing with the topic India events after 1960. In the first part of this topic, we discussed about the 1960s and the 1970s. Now in the second part of this topic, we are going to discuss about the period of the 1980s, then the changes after 1991, Indian economy, and the progress in the field of science and technology, changes in social field and the concept of globalization. So here we'll start with the 1980s. During this decade, the Indian political system faced many new challenges. And these new challenges were from different fields or different areas in that the first one, the Sikhs in Punjab demand an independent state Khalistan and which was very serious issue and began a movement which went on to become violent and destructive. Pakistan had lent its support to this movement and that's why it was very serious threat to the peace of our country and also it was the unity of our country but the indian army was sent into the golden temple at amritsar a holy train of the sikhs in 1984 to evict the terrorist who had illegally taken shelter there one of the sikh bodyguard because of this In Indira Gandhi's personal security assassinated her and during this period an organization called United Liberation Front of Assam ULFA carried on a major movement in Northeast India but here the thing which one is very important to understand that the movement of Khalistan was not very simple or one can neglect it when we are talking about the 1980s and then right after Indira Gandhi's assassination in 1984 Rajiv Gandhi became the Prime Minister of India he tried to make several reforms several reforms in the field of economy and that of science and technology he took the lead in solving the issues, issues of Tamil minority in Sri Lanka. He promoted the idea of United Sri Lanka with internal autonomy to the Tamil community, but his efforts in this regard proved to be in vain. Unhone jo bhi reform liye, wo kuch kaam mein nahi aaye, unse kuch baat nahi bani. Then he faced a lot of criticism in the context of corruption that took place during a defense equipment deal, especially the purchase of long-range cannons from a foreign company called Bofars. So the political corruption became a crucial issue in the general elections that followed and because of that, the Congress party was defeated. Now if the Congress party was defeated then several parties formed a coalition called the Janta Dal and Vishwanath Pratap Singh VP Singh became the next Prime Minister of India a policy for providing reservation for other backward classes that is OBC is considered to be his most important contribution वो उन्होंने ड्यूरिंग इलेक्शन कैंपेन अनाउंस किया था कि ओबीसी को रिजर्वेशन देने का काम करेंगे उनका जो मैनिफेस्टो था उसमें ये बात थी एंड दैट इज व्हाई वो चुन कर आए उन्हें ज्यादा वोट मिले बट ही कुड नॉट कंटिन्यू एज प्राइम मिनिस्टर ड्यू टू इंटरनल डिफरेंसेस इन द पार्टी सो इन नाइनटीन चंद्रशेखर बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया हिज गवर्नमेंट वॉज ऑल्सो शॉर्ट लीव मतलब राजीव गांधी 
के बाद वीपी सिंह आए वीपी सिंह के बाद चंद्रशेखर आए और चंद्रशेखर भी ज़्यादा टाइम के लिए पीएम बनकर नहीं रह सके देन इन 1991 ड्यूरिंग द इलेक्शन कैंपेन नेक्स्ट कैंपेन जो चल रहा था द टेररिस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन श्रीलंका लिबरेशन टाइगर्स ऑफ तमिल इलम दैट इज एल टी टी ई असाइसिनेटेड राजीव गांधी दो ही वर्कड फॉर द पीपल ऑफ श्रीलंका एंड ट्राइड for the betterment of that region and towards the end of the decade of 1980s the unrest in jammu and kashmir had begun this problem grew seriously day by day the terrorist activities that forced the kashmiri pandits to leave the valley and this problem grew serious day by day and today it has taken the form of terrorism and we hear many news about this in the media but now today one thing which we understand that this one is the serious threat to our democracy the next point the changes after 1991 now if we talk about the year 1991 which is held to be very important and it was not only for the india but in the history of the world the soviet union disintegrated into several different small countries jo sabse bada tha soviet union wo chote chote countries mein divide ho gaya cold war came to an end and if we talk about india in india the government under the leadership of prime minister p v narsimha rao initiated many changes in the indian economy during this period the ram janmabhoomi and babri mosque issue at avedda came to the forefront so at the same time economically we are progressing developing and at the same time or on the other side we are having our issues like regionalism communalism in the elections conducted between 1996 and 1999 no political party got a clear majority jab kisi ek party ko clear majority lok sabha mein nahi milti hai to do teen parties ka alliance hota hai aur wo number match up karke fir un teeno या दो पार्टी का मिलके एक पीएम बनता है सो इन दिस सिचुएशन 1996 में भी और 1999 में भी लोकसभा में क्लियर मेजोरिटी किसी एक पार्टी को नहीं मिली नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस थ्री गवर्नमेंट्स इन अ शॉर्ट स्पैन ऑफ टाइम एंड दोज लेड बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एच डी देवेगौड़ा एंड इंदर कुमार गुजराल Finally in 1999 the National Democratic Alliance National Democratic Alliance came to power under the flag of Bharatiya Janata Party and Atal Bihari Vajpayee became India's prime minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee tried to establish a dialogue with Pakistan but it was not successful India conducted a number of nuclear tests in 1998 and declared herself as an atomic power. There was another war between India and Pakistan during this period over the Kashmir issue in Kargil region but there India defeated Pakistan in this war as well. now what happened with the indian economy right from independence the modernization of economy economic self sufficiency and social justice have been the characteristics of indian economy humne capitalist economy ya fir socialist economy in economies ko accept nahi kiya balki ek mixed economy jo hamare desh ko suit karti hai us par चलना चाहा 
और उस इकोनॉमी के जो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है उसमें द मॉडर्नाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी इकोनॉमिक सेल्फ सफिशियंसी एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग सोशल जस्टिस सो इंडिया वॉन्टेड टू एक्वायर मॉडर्निटी एंड एट द सेम टाइम सेल्फ रिलायंस इस्टेब्लिशिंग इंडस्ट्रीज we wanted to establish an economy based on social justice through planning and for this national planning commission was established that would coordinate development through the policy of five year plans jaise jaise government har 5 saal ke baad hamare yahan elections hote hain waise hi har 5 saal ke baad national planning commission ek five year plan banati hai jisme decide kiya jata hai कि अगले पाँच साल में कौन से सेक्टर में ज़्यादा काम होने वाला है कौन से सेक्टर में क्या काम होने वाला है तो वो प्लान पहले से ही डिसाइड होता है एंड देन द गवर्नमेंट हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट ऑन इट आने वाली गवर्नमेंट को उस पर इम्प्लीमेंट करना होता है द नरसिम्हा राव गवर्नमेंट स्टार्टेड इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स फ्रॉम नाइनटीन These economic reforms are called as economic liberalization. The Indian economy flourished as a result of the implementation of this policy, and because of this, the foreign investment in India increased. Skilled Indian professionals helped reform the Indian economy. The field of information technology opened. सेवरल एवेन्यूज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द कंट्री सो ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड एम्प्लॉयमेंट का जो परसेंटेज है वो काफ़ी बढ़ गया द चेंजेस आफ्टर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन आर ऑल्सो डिस्क्राइब्ड एज ग्लोबलाइजेशन अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन वी टॉक देन इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू मेजर इवेंट्स मस्ट बी मैंशन while describing india's efforts towards self reliance and the two names which are very important in this the first one dr m s somi nathan who is known as the father of the green revolution in 1965 he implemented new scientific agricultural techniques new scientific agricultural techniques and increased the production of food grains which was very important for the country like india with the huge or over population we can say itne bade population wale country ko agriculture mein kuch na kuch change karna bahut zaruri tha jisse production of food grains bade aur yahi cheez dr m s swaminathan ne karke dikhai which we called as green revolution then the experiment in cooperatively dairy movement by dr wagis kurian led to increase of milk production in india and this is called as white revolution so these two revolution green revolution and white revolution played very important role in the development of our country or especially in the field of agriculture then india had also made a lot of progress in the fields of atomic energy and space research now when we talk about atomic research or atomic energy or space research then the name of dr homi bhaba which is very important because he is the person who led the foundation of the indian atomic power program and because of him India insisted on using atomic energy for peaceful purposes like generation of electricity, pharmaceuticals, and defense. So India has achieved considerable success in space technology. In nineteen seventy five, April nineteen nineteen seventy five, the first satellite Aryabhat was launched. आज हमें ये बात कॉमन लगती है क्योंकि बहुत सारे इस फील्ड की बातें हम न्यूज़ पे देखते हैं सुनते हैं सैटेलाइट के लॉन्च की बट इट वाज़ द फर्स्ट सैटेलाइट इन 1975 सेवेंटी फाइव विच वॉज लॉन्च टूडे इंडिया हैज़ अ सक्सेसफुल स्पेस प्रोग्राम एंड मेनी सैटेलाइट्स हैव बीन लॉन्च्ड अंडर दिस प्रोग्राम 
not only in the field of atomic energy and space research or in the field of launching satellites india has also made considerable advancement in te the telecom sector and today we are using the facilities due to all these developments or advancement techniques in all the fields now not only in the field of science and technology but in the field of social nature of country which is little bit based on casteism and religion it was very important to give justice to each and everyone so during this period there were several major changes in the social field in india some of the changes are related with the issues of the empowerment of women it was very important because to bring women into the flow or bring them into the politics and in cultural field and in education to promote the all round development of women and children a separate department of women and child development was created in 1985 under the ministry of human resource development some laws were made to ensure social justice to women and to help the implementation of various schemes in this direction now these laws included the prohibition of dowry act and as per the 73rd and 74th constitution amendments seats were reserved for women in the local self government bodies and the equal remuneration act according to the makers of the indian constitution some constituents of the indian society were deprived of dignity and equal opportunities due to the caste system now this was our history but to change this the kaka saheb kalilkar commission was set up in 1953 to make recommendations so as to improve their condition because of caste because of religion जो डिप्राइव्ड है जिनको राइट्स नहीं मिले हैं ऐसे लोगों को उनकी कंडीशन को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए भी गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से बहुत सारी स्कीम्स लाई गई बहुत सारी पॉलिसीज चलाई गई उनमें से एक काका साहेब कालेलकर कमीशन था इन 1978 एट अ कमीशन वॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ बी पी मंडल इन नाइनटीन टू स्टडी the issue of the backward class again that is about obc the policy of preservation was adopted in order to strengthen the representation of backward sections in various services and institutions the government passed the prevention of atrocities act in 1989 to enable those belonging to the scheduled castes and tribes to live with dignity and respect free from fear violence and oppression of the upper classes so all these measures played very important role in maintaining the harmony or peace in the country or in giving the social justice or in maintaining the social justice in our country then the concept of globalization which brought about many changes and these many changes were in different fields like in economy politics science and technology and not only in these fields but in society and in our culture also we have discussed some of these changes in the lesson but india has emerged as an important country on the global scene in different spheres india is an organizations like brics important member of brics in which brazil russia india china south africa are there and in 
G20 also. So India has experienced an important revolution in the field of telecommunication and technology. So if we talk about the today, then the mobile phones, internet and the communication facilities based on satellite have spread all across the country. And during this COVID-19 pandemic, you people are learning the things by using mobile phones, by using internet. So this is what we have done during these years. In the political field, India has demonstrated to the world how a stable democracy can function successfully. And all this has resulted in a total transformation in the lifestyle of Indians and especially the youth. So the changes are visible from their dietary habits, clothing, language and beliefs. This is what today in this topic we discussed about the period of the 1980s, then the changes after 1991, Indian economy, progress in the field of science and technology, measures or the policies run by our government to maintain social balance and the concept of globalization. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notifications. So my dear ones, this is all for today. Thank you very much. Stay home, stay safe, take care.